Good afternoon from Bali, everyone. It's Anika Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy breathing and mindful actions. Today, I thought I would talk to you about vasanas, and I know I've spoken about this in the past a little bit, but I want to remind you that vasanas uh, described, it's a Sanskrit word, and it refers to a past impression in the mind that influences behavior. A past impression on the mind that influences behavior. And this in Hindi is often termed as samskars. It's also in English, if we think of it as habits or tendencies, this is the same idea. Now remember, I'm in Bali, and it's certainly reflecting my own thinking, but in Bali, of course, there is the belief of past lives, and past lives can be a thousand years old, so we could have many, many past lives, and it influences our behaviors, our tendencies, our vasanas are part of what we carry with us from one life to another. Now, some people will say, well, I don't believe in past lives or future lives, so I'm just going to worry about this life, and that's totally fine too. But I'll tell you that if we are thinking about vasanas, we can see that there are different tendencies for different people. So even in the same family, same home, same parents, same upbringing, same environment, same training, and yet we'll have two completely different personalities as two different children. And even if we have a child that is an identical child with a twin, there will be probably the same look physically, but there will be different vasanas or different tendencies. So today I thought I'd try to explain to you a little bit about this so that we can start understanding how to interact with each other in a healthier manner. So if we're looking at this perspective, we can see that, yeah, twins can be quite different in their personalities and their tendencies and their natures. And what happens is in life, we like people to be like us. And so, let's say in a friendship, in a family, in any sort of situation, often we'll say, well, what I'm doing is right, and what that person is doing is not right. Now, my vasanas create what I believe is right, and that person's vasanas will create what they believe is right. And one could look at it objectively and say, well, you know, that person is stealing, and that's not right. Now, if I come from the perspective of we're two humans, or he's from my family and he's doing this, we would start thinking that what I do is right, but we're not recognizing that vasanas are imprinted in our soul's nature. And so this imprinting carries from one life to another. So even in this life, if we're not seeing any reason why this person is behaving this way, there could be a past impression. Now, if we look at this life and we think, well, I know this person, they grew up in the same family as me, and I know they have the same training, oftentimes we don't know what's happened in that person's mind or life. If you look at yourself, you'll notice that you don't share all the deepest, innermost thoughts that you think about every day with anyone. So sometimes a person who sees you even 24 hours of the day does not know what you were thinking when you were walking along the street on your own one day. You does not know what you're thinking even when you're walking right beside them. And so your own vasanas are with you and you are aware of them, but no one around you will necessarily know. Now this whole idea of if only that person could be more like me, then it would be so easy. And what happens is we get two people. If we think about our vasanas as almost like this is a recording that's happening in our minds that we carry with ourselves throughout our lives different lives and even if we say this life this life whatever things are happening in my life I'm recording it in my mind if I'm hurt by something I record it in my mind then someone else come up, comes along and says something similar to someone who hurt me and that's that same recording replaying now I think that person hurt me but it's often something in the past that's happened that I'm remembering in this moment and that's a past experience affecting this moment that makes me feel hurt again in this moment based on a past memory and not necessarily based on just the experience that's happened right now. Now each person is carrying their own vasanas, remember? And each person is looking at the other thinking, well if only they change a little bit to be like me, they'd do what's right. But they feel like they're doing what's right. And this is something that really helps when we start looking at the soul energy. If we look at a soul energy, it's on a journey, it's taking on a lot of information. And as it interacts with the world, it works from those tendencies or those habits or those memories. And that experience, these vasanas, can come up at any time. So even in a life that a person has been very kind, very loving, very friendly, something has happened in that person's life, and today it's re 
rebirthed, I'll say, it's remembered that, oh, I heard about this when someone did this to me in the past, and I react because this is not good, and I'm going to judge that person is not good. So today, I would love for you to think about this idea and recognize that different people carry different vasanas, and these vasanas are going to reflect in their day-to-day -day experience. And even when you feel like you've known someone all your life, and you feel like, I know this person, suddenly a vasana pops up, and they're behaving very differently. And we say, well, they weren't like this before, they've changed. But that vasana was always with them. It was materializing into this material world that suddenly comes up at a time that is right for that person or that soul to go through that journey of their life now. So now, if we can come from a space of understanding rather than judgment, they should be more like me, we can come from a place of understanding and compassion. Now, understanding and compassion can go hand in hand when we come from the space of every person is on their own soul's journey. So today, I would love for you to think about that for five minutes after this video. Just sit to reflect on who are you, who are the people closest to you, how are they different from you, and what kind of journey might they be on that you have no idea about. And that will naturally bring up some compassion within you, and oftentimes that will bring some love. And if we can look at each person that we meet, whether family, whether friends, whether co-workers, from that space, our thoughts are different, our words are different, and our compassion is different for the soul on a journey. Today I thought I'd finish with this quotation by uh, Sri Ramana Maharshi. And this quotation says, as a general rule, there is no harm in satisfying a desire where the satisfaction will not lead to further desires by creating vasanas in the mind. Does that make sense? So again, as a general rule, there is no harm in satisfying a desire where the satisfaction will not lead to further desires by creating vasanas in the mind. And if you look at some of my previous videos, I've talked about how people might have a food vasana. They, they want to eat. They want to eat as much as they can. They want to eat as many different things as they can. And there's no harm in satisfying that desire when that desire doesn't create more vasanas. Now, I need more food. I want to have something different. Now I want to have even more food. Quantity, quality, um, types of food. Sometimes it's about a place I want to be. There's vacations, people have vasanas of I have to travel, I have to do different things. And some people will have that about friends. Some people want lots of friends and some people want company and some people want solitude. And this is part of each individual vasanas. And I hope today you will reflect on that to recognize that we all come from different vasanas. There's no two souls who have the exact same vasanas. And we're all on a spiritual journey as far as I'm concerned. I hope that you will think about this from your perspective today. See it. Don't believe it because I've said it. Believe it because you see the truth of it. And that is what I wish for all of us. I wish you a fantastic day ahead. And I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.